And the Lord would say, do not forget my nation, Ukraine. Do not cease to pray for my people in that nation. Do not cease to pray for President Zelensky. For I have promoted him for such a time as this. And I have allowed the international spotlight to shine on him for such a time as this, says the Lord. For he is indeed an X factor in Europe. But the mark on his back is growing increasingly larger, says the Lord. Marksmen are waiting in the wings to take him out of the equation. Because as goes Zelensky, goes the morale of the nation. So pray without ceasing, for I have put on him a spirit like unto Churchill, who will be bold and brazen and brash, says the Lord. I am using him to irritate the enemy. I am using him to embolden the nations in Europe. I am using him to provoke them to rise up in their authority and protect their own sovereignty, says the Lord. I have even put my words in his mouth. I am even prophesying through him, although he does not know it, says the Lord. I am using him. He is my man for the hour in Europe. So do not retreat. Do not pull back from the battle line, but stand with him, says the Lord. I have anointed him. I have called him. I have equipped him for such a time as this. And there are many that would like to see him moved out of the picture. But I will continue to shine a light upon him, says the Lord. I will continue to use him to embolden a continent to rise up and fight against what is coming next, to stand on my word and pray without ceasing. I will use him as an agent of awakening in the nations to wake up the church, to wake up the remnant, to teach them what it means to wait upon me, to wait on the miracle, to stand in faith, to push back not just natural darkness, but spiritual darkness. I will use him as a model of courage and boldness. I will use him to inspire a generation. I will use him, and I am using him, and I will keep using him, says the Lord. But do not fail to pray. Do not falter in your intercession for this man that I have called. Do not stop. Do not hold back. But cry aloud, for your prayers are empowering angels, says the Lord, and I will send angels to encamp around him to protect him as you pray. I will keep him hidden from the terror that flies by night as you pray. I will keep him sheltered under the shadow of my wings as you pray. I will do it, for I have marked him for this time and this season. I have marked him for history-making moves in Europe. So stand with him as he stands with me, says the Lord. So, Father, we do. We lift up President Volodymyr Zelensky. And we ask you, God, as you have so far, continue to protect him. Lord, he is an inspiration among the nations. You used, my God, you used the foolish thing of the world to confound the wise. You used a comedian, an actor, to rise up for such a time as this and inspire us to pray, inspire us to fall down on our knees and give you glory. Thank you for setting him apart. Thank you for calling him, ordaining him, and anointing him for such a time as this. We put a hedge of protection around President Zelensky, and we decree no harm shall come to his head. We break the powers of every assignment against his life. We come against every spirit of assassination, every spirit of terror, every spirit that would seek to steal, kill, and destroy his life. We stand against it. We cut it off. We plead the blood of Jesus over 
for your son, Zelensky. We plead the blood of Jesus. We ask you, Lord, to hide him under the shadow of your wings. Send your warring angels to surround him, to protect him, to fight for him. Help him, Lord, to continue to prophesy your will for his nation. Help him, Lord, to continue to walk in the wisdom that you have poured out over his life. Surround him, Lord, with wise counselors. Surround him, Lord, with those who have his back. I root out every enemy assignment, every spirit of betrayal and treachery that would target him, that would target his life. We break the powers of this spirit now in Jesus' name, and we decree he shall remain safe. We declare he shall continue to rise up in notoriety, rise up in your spirit to provoke the enemy to jealousy, to provoke the enemy to Kotorabasha. I just see it. I just see it. I see a mantle around Zelensky's shoulders. I see a mantle of boldness and courage. I see a mantle like unto Joshua, where he walked in success in warfare because he was strong in the Lord. He was courageous. He meditated on the word day and night. Father, let your let your let your man of this hour meditate on your word. Let him remember how the Israelites entered the promised land. Let him remember how Joshua defeated the, 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 the enemies in the land. Let him remember and let his word, let your word strengthen him. Help him to see that he is indeed called by you. Help him without a doubt to stand and keep on standing in the evil day. Save his soul in Jesus' name.